Hey there fellow gamers, uh, welcome back to Dice Treasures, your gaming heaven, where today we've got the lineup that's not just epic, it's mind-blowing. Have you ever imagined defending fortress the heights, unleashing boiled tar and leading a company of guards against the relentless undead? Prepare for strategic masterpiece that might just turn non-zombie fans into devoted enthusiasts. Zombicide The White Death This standalone expansion of Zombicide Black Plague features new survivors, new zombies, new settings and probably most important, new rules and thrilling mechanics. Yes. And it looks like game developers know what they do, because I'm not a zombie game fan in general, but these medieval settings somehow made their way into my heart. I seriously don't know how it happened, but I like this game. It offers you to exploit fortress heights strategically, cascading boiling tar from above and uh, gaining a tactical edge against the relentless undead. You must command a company of gods to push back against this zombie horde and use unique survivor skills uh, to bolster their abilities. I love that fortress perimeter defense idea. It reminds me of some features from Total War video games where you must protect city walls from invading armies. Anyway, this time all that is on your tabletop and it's super cool. And now, are you ready to literally spin into the horror and madness, decoding Necronomicon, unveiling the great old one and seal portals in time to save the island town from cosmic horrors? If you want to play the next game, you will need to do that. Tiny Epic Casolo! It's a 45 minute odyssey for 1 to 4 players unfolding on a forgotten island town in the 1920s, where horrors emerge from sea fog trusting the once peaceful location into the chaos. Players embody unique characters uh, collaborating uh, to decode the Necronomicon, unveiling the Great Old One and seal portals to thwart uh, impending doom. The agency to save town hangs over every spin, with innovative bag building and whimsical spin, a tiny epic casulo offers a tense engaging experience, uh, strategic depths, unique powers and madness management converge, ensuring a captivating addition to the tiny epic series. I love each and every aspect of the game, components, artwork and dynamic gameplay. Game is absolutely brilliant, really great work. Before we plunge back into the tabletop horrors, make sure you subscribe for more epic adventures and hit that notification bell to be always informed about new episodes. But now let's get back to those wonderful games. Have you ever wondered what happens when tower defense strategy meets worker placement in realm shrouded in shadows and animalities? Brace yourselves uh, for a mesmerizing dance of light and darkness, uh, where your every move unveils hidden horrors. Aberration! This masterpiece by the same designers of Lord of Waterdeep, Horrified and uh, Tyrants of uh, Underdark uh, throws us in the realm cloaked in enigma where shadows and anomalities uh, wave a haunting symphony. In this game, your village, perched on the brink of oblivion, depends on you as its ultimate protector. Aberration delivers an enthralling co-op experience, seamlessly fusing tower defense strategy with horror and survivor dynamics, intricate interplay of worker placement, evolving back building and asymmetrical player powers. Amazing. A mesmerizing dance of shadow and light unveils a fog of war, concealing both truth and lurking terrors. I love this game. This is an epic blend of top defense, worker placement and bag building, all set in amazing fantasy settings. And miniatures are just out of this world. Literally unseen monsters, cool game board and dark theme. Just a brilliant game. I love it and I'm looking forward to get this one for myself. 
Next board game is based on a such an epic and so much anticipated video game franchise a continuation that I even have no words to describe this masterpiece. Stalk at the board game! It is an immersive journey into the unforgiving zone boasting impeccable models and superior components. Meticulously crafted mechanics evoke true tensions and danger, heightening the stakes for players tackling formidable challenges. This game uh, caters uh, both seasoned enthusiasts and newcomers uh, to narrative-driven board games, uh, drawing inspiration from the Stalker's uh, Campfire law of rich mission-based narrative. As a zone crawler, it accommodates uh, one to four players uh, seamlessly unfolding missions uh, from enigmatic narrative boxes. The game beacons adventures into the world where every move resonates with consequences, promising a captivating odyssey through its mysterious terrain. As I am a fan of this iconic video game, I cannot describe the excitement to place this game on my table. I am waiting for that very very much. Abandon hope, all I who enter here. Have you ever read Dante's Journey Through Hell? I did, long time ago, during college, and uh, now I can't play it. Well, that brings back that sweet nostalgia about those careless years. Well, I mean college, not hell. Anyway, I'm talking about Inferno! game in which players, uh, guided by Virgil, navigates uh, sinners uh, through the nine cycles of hell, each uh, penance a visceral echo of uh, earthly transgressions. Tans oscillate between uh, deftly guided souls uh, to their internal destinies, uh, reaping infamy points and uh, pivotal choices in Florence or exposing sinners. Well, the game is a masterpiece saga of strategic fairness and moral reckoning in pursuit of internal dominance. I love the artwork, it brings that right feeling of dread. I would love to get to this game and show it to my literature teacher. I remember her as a great teacher and a very kind person who opened my eyes not only to so many great written world masterpieces, but to the magnificent world of history and art because uh, she taught two subjects. Anyway, I bet she would be amazed that Dante made his way to the gaming board. Yeah, what do you think? For me this game is definitely an intriguing surprise. By the way, horror game enthusiasts, here's a chilling question for you. What would be topic? about what you would love to see horror board game made about. Say for example, I am an alien movie fan and I would love to see board games that feature for example Prometheus or Alien Covenant. Share your most spine-chilling ideas in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel and become part of this vibrant community. Hit notification bell to be always informed about new episodes, shorts, polls, quizzes and other stuff all meant to entertain you. That's it for today, thank you for watching, have fun playing these wonderful games and stay tuned for the next episode.